as of this moment, there are only 133 houses on the market in all of Stafford County, all of Spotsylvania County, and the city of Fredericksburg. Why is this happening? And it's not because it's January. Stay tuned, I'll give you my two reasons why inventory is so low. Number one, new construction has fallen behind over the last 13 or so years. Back a couple decades ago when we had our housing bubble, housing units were doing really well, but then there became an oversupply of houses on the market and prices began to decline. And because of that, new home construction also declined. And then when new home construction started to come back, it couldn't keep up with the demand to the point where over the last 13 years, builders have not been able to construct enough houses to meet even the historical average. So under building is one of the reasons why we have an inventory problem right now. Number two, the pandemic had a huge impact on the housing market because the pandemic renewed a new appreciation in the focus of the meaning of home. And people realized that the home that they were living in was not going to work for them and they needed to find something else. Either they needed more space, they needed a place to work at home, they needed a place to do school at home, or they decided they wanted to move closer to family they needed some place to exercise, they needed to be in a neighborhood with more amenities or less amenities or more transportation options or less transportation options. But basically the pandemic totally changed the appreciation for home. And then mortgage rates dropped at or below 3%, which made home more affordable to a wider variety of people. But pair that with the fact that there were sellers that were very hesitant to put their houses on the market during the pandemic. They were worried about people coming into their home, spreading the disease, touching things. They weren't interested in moving at the time. And so that created a low inventory. So we had a lot of demand, very low inventory, and that caused prices to go up. Now that inventory is still pretty low because the number of buyers out there is exceeding the number of homes on the market. We just can't keep homes on the market. Last year at this time, we had about 150 houses on the market. Right now we have 133 houses on the market. We also just had like three weeks of holiday and snowstorms and all this kind of stuff. So I anticipate inventory to increase, but I also expect buyer uh, activity to increase as well because interest rates are going to start ticking up. So what does this mean to you? As a buyer, this means you need to be prepared to compete in the market. You also need to be prepared that the perfect home that checks every single box is probably not going to be out there and if it is out there, that is probably also the perfect house for 20 or 30 other people. So the demand for new construction is gonna be there, especially for folks who cannot find exactly what they're looking for in the real estate market. But right now, it's taking a little over a year to build a house in our area. So if you were to write an offer on a house today, build it from the ground up, you're not moving in until 2023. And I don't know about you, but a lot of folks, when they make a decision to move, they want to move. Or if they have to move, they have to move. So they can't wait for a year. So that puts even more pressure on the resale inventory that's out there. So as a buyer, you need to be prepared to compete for the good houses you need to be prepared to make a priority list and there might be some things on your list in the future home that you would like to have that you're just not gonna be able to have 
or after you buy the home, you're, you can make those adjustments, make those renovations, change the paint color, add this, add that. But you also need to be prepared financially. I will link in this video, in the card, probably right up here, uh, my top 17 tips to help you win an offer. And right now, this is very, very, very important. If you are thinking about buying a house later in 2022, you need to save as much cash as possible. Yes, you need cash beyond your down payment. 100% you need cash. So please start saving your cash. Maybe only go out to dinner once a month. Maybe cut back on some of the luxury things that you have. Maybe cut back on some of your groceries, eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for a while. I'm not sure, but the buyer that has the cash, not an all cash purchase, but has enough cash to pay their own closing costs, to pay their own down payment, and also to give a little buffer in case that appraisal has a little bit of an issue. Those are the buyers that are winning in today's market. If you wanna know more information about how to position yourself as a buyer in this low inventory market environment, reach out. I would love to sit down with you. We can put a strategy together and we'll help you win your next house. See you next time.